Greetings everyone, this is Kagan. Today I am going to give you all the reasons why I think early Geno is the one going to be playable in 4.3. One of the biggest reasons why early Geno is going to be playable is definitely because of her file name. Do you know what her file name is? Well, there is one thing that confuses me. Why no one has said the file name of Sandra? In other words, I want to say that Sandron still might become playable in 4.3 Despite saying that Ali Geno is the one going to be playable It all depends on what her file name ne I mean what her file name is Well, whoever is saving for Ali Geno Good luck because Ali Geno is definitely going to be playable as I said before But who is going to be playable in 4.3 is one of the bigger questions And if uh, marionette's file name is monster marionette then it's going to be confirmed that marionette is going to be dead but if it is about or something something marionette then she's going to be playable as well which will be weird because we will get to square one again and don't know who is the one going to be playable in fontaine 4.3 but for now it's early channel because we don't know the file name of marionette and if she is something else other than Avatar, we can be confirmed that she is going to be dying in the boss battle between Traveler and her. So, if we exclude Sumeru, we will get one pattern from Liwe and Inazum. I have said Inazuma. So, in the end, it all matters to the lore. Is Alice another one planning to stay in Fontaine forever? Or is it Marionette? The worst part for me is that I don't like Early Geno's designs as much as the others do, but my favorite character, Damsilith, is not going to be the one playable in Fontaine and I know that very well. So I'm not going to like say that she still has a chance of being playable. She have no chance of being playable. As she is the third Harbinger and she's too strong to be, to be presenting as playable in Fontaine. And as much as I know about Focalors, Focalors is not nearly as strong as Dongli or Raiden. So she is actually a very weak Archon compared to the other two. Back to the main point. The one thing I like about Ali Geno is she's going to be the first delusion using character in Genshin Impact that might be playable. So there is still a problem like Karamut's got a vision later. There is a chance Ali Geno is going to have the same kind of story and she receives a vision later. But as we know there are some characters that doesn't use visions like Nahida and Raiden. There is a chance that Miho decides to enter Delusion as a playable ca character feature as well. That there will be Delusion using characters each of its own element like Arlichano is going to be a fire Delusion using character and later maybe they add Tilda's lightning Delusion version as well like they do in Honkai. But, but Genshin Impact is kind of different than Honkai. So there is a high chance of Tilda not ever using his delu I mean lightning delusion and he stays hydro vision user forever. That's the thing I'm expecting from Ali Cheno. And there is a high chance of her being playable, but it is a 50-50% chance of she might use a delusion or she might use a vision. That's a still just a chance <laughs> and a guess that she might be the first user <laughs> that will use delusion. <laughs> 